Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 2y to the power 4 minus 32 equal to 0. And I want us to solve this completely. By the way, 2 can be found in 32. So we can divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and equally divide this by 2. Because what you do on one side, you must do on the other side, right? So this cancels this. We have y to the power of 4 now. Then minus this, 32 divided by 2 will give 16. This will be equal to 0 divided by 2, which will give 0. And now, what do we do? Remember, this is the same thing as y to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. Because... 2 to the power of 4 will give 16. This is equal to 0. Now, what if we break this into 2? This will give us y to the power of 2 to the power of 2, right? Then minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. This will be equal to 0. And now, we can apply the difference of 2 squares. Because if you have a squared minus b squared, this would be the same thing as a plus b into a minus b. Now, I want to apply the same standard here now, so that a plus b will become y squared plus 2 squared, right? So we have y squared plus 2 squared. That will be in the first bracket. And then in the second bracket, we have y squared minus 2 squared. And then this will be equal to 0. Now from here, we can now apply our 0 product rule. So that y squared plus 2 squared here will give 4, right? To be equal to 0 or y squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now let me deal with this first. From here, y squared will be equal to 0 minus, okay, that is 4, 0 minus 4. Now, y squared here will be equal to minus 4. Now, the next thing is to take the square root of both sides. And if you take square root of both sides, you will have positive or negative value on the right. So, this will give us negative 4. Now, this will cancel this. And that is the reason for squaring both sides. Now, y is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 4, right? Now, the next thing I will do is to remove this negative so that y will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is 1. And then from here, y will be equal to positive or negative. Square root of 4 is 2. Then square root of negative 1 is imaginary, and that is i. Now, from here, it means that y is equal to 2i or negative 2i. So from here, we have two values of, um, of y. Our y1, which is equal to 2i. And our y2, which is equal to negative 2i. So this is what we have. Okay. Now, let's go over to get the other values of um, y from this. y squared minus 2 squared equals 0. So I will write it down here. We have y squared minus 2 squared equals what? 0. And from here, we can also decide to apply difference of two squares. So that's y plus 2 into y minus 2 is equal to 0. This is from difference of two squares. Now, y plus 2 is either equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to 0. So from here again, we are going to have two more solutions. So this means that y is equal to 0 minus 2 or y is equal to 
0 plus 2. Now y from here will be equal to minus 2 or y is equal to 2. So we now have our y3 which is minus 2 and y4 which is positive 2, right? Now I want to bring the four solutions together. Okay, so I will have it here. We have our y1 which is equal to positive 2i our y2 okay i hope this is visible enough to be equal to negative 2i and then y3 to be equal to negative 2 and then y4 to be equal to um positive 2 positive 2 so these are the four values of x from the equation. Thank you for watching.